Hi guys, it's me Ali, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mini doll laptop using a piece of paper and cardboard. Even though there's stickers on it or I draw it on it. Anyway, you're going to need cardboard, printed out laptop, and what I did is I cut it around it so there's like no white on it and it, if I got white on it I'll cut that piece off with another one but mine looks like a real laptop because it has stuff on it and it's perfect sorry guys you can't really see but and you're also going to need scissors and what I already did though like you cut out a piece of cardboard and white I'm using a lid to a shoe box, and if you're using a lid to a shoe box, where it's supposed to go on, you have to bend, so it's, like, able for you to cut and then cut a piece out, which I already did, but this is from a different shoe box, and what you're going to do is... Bend your bend your um thing around it so it's evenly like you're bending a card and then bend it again so when you bend it it's gonna look like the laptop's open. So it looks like it's closed, and when you open it, it's opened. Then size your, before you cut out your cardboard, you want to do this, but cut out the cardboard the size you need. Oh, you're also going to need glue, I forgot to tell you that. And you don't have to be exact on your cardboard. I like to be. Just so I get the right image I want. So I think I just need it a little bit fatter. So I'm just going to cut out or trace. I have a marker. Trace. It's okay if you have drawn on cardboard, which I do. That's what I'm using. And you can print this out off of Jim's Printable Minis. That come. Wait, I cut it a little bit better than I needed it to. And put it on there. Now open yours up. So like. When you fold it, you should be still having a slot, so you can go like, sorry this is taking so long, but then lay it down on it. It's okay if it's fatter. Don't lay it on the crease, though. Take your glue. I'm using Rose Art for Crazy Art. I'm going to glue it on. So. 
Oh, sorry if someone comes in here. But. Okay. So I glued it on and. Yeah. Now I'm gonna chip it off, if you can see. It's right there. I have to cut some more off, guys, because or else it's gonna look weird. <laughs> so I took it off, so I could. And now I'm gonna cut. Now I cut it too small, so I'm gonna cut the extra pieces of paper off. Now glue the other side on, so it will stay glued like that. And then I'll tell you how to make it so it will stay open. Some laptops they actually like the ones that you make actually have trouble staying open and closed. Now that it's on, I'm going to show you how to have it, how to keep it closed. I mean, open. So you're going to want, it's going to be straight now, but now you're going to fold it in like it's going to be closed. So you know which ones are wrong, because you want to fix your laptop. So now I'm gonna snip it, and now I have it right where I want it. And now you're gonna bend it and close the rim. And it will stay open like that, but then it should be able to, when you go like that, it should stay. But then I want you to bend it the other way, so it would be like a 10 if you want like that. Then bend it back, and if you want it to stay closed, you might want to just put a tiny piece of tape, but now it should be able to stay open. So, yeah. It took just how I wanted it. And now, well, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make art supplies, which I did print off all the things that I'm going to be showing you, because this is my doll video, like, all the videos I'm making is going to be about how to make stuff for dolls. So, next time I'm going to show you how to make oil for sales, watercolors, and, like, little note things, and, a, like, writing book composition, I can't really say it, and then sketch pads. So, see you next time, I'm